There's a story in Melbourne about two years ago where a woman had an affair with a 15-year-old bloke and he, he didn't seem to be worried. I mean, she, did, she initially didn't go to jail because I think it was to do with his attitude about it. He was like, he wasn't allowed to be named during the court case, but afterwards he was like, yeah, get the cameras over here. <laughs> that was me. <laughs> She's hot, isn't she? <laughs> direct quote from this lady was, oh, it didn't affect me at all. Even one best and fairest at cricket. <laughs> Wonder who his role model is. <laughs> I think it might be Warney. I love Warney, don't get me wrong, and I shouldn't do jokes about him. Not since I bumped into him and he told me not to. <laughs> I gave $1,000 to the Shane Warne Foundation because of a joke I did on radio about Warney. He's probably using that money for text messages. <laughs> no, he does a great, he seriously does a great job. You know, he's a good man and he's single now and that's fair enough, you know. I mean, but, I mean there's a lot of great sport, Australian sportsmen who don't, like, have, I mean, you know, run around. I mean, there's some, a lot of them don't, have, I don't, don't seem to have, I mean, some of them don't seem to have affairs with women. I mean, you know, Ian Thorpe. He seems to be focused on his swimming. Not worrying about women, is he? Doesn't appear to be. Oh, he's not swimming the Commonwealth Games, is he? What the fuck's going on there, Thorpey? Got to be that bloody bronchitis. I think I know why. Uh, allegedly, uh, someone told me they saw him last year, or maybe two, I don't know, well, sometime, they saw Thorpey smoking cigarettes. Thorpey smoking cigarettes at a party. What the fuck's that all about, Thorpey? You're a professional swimmer. Smoking cigarettes. That's like Paris Hilton taking up reading, you know? <laughs> I mean, I used to smoke cigarettes myself. I thought they made me look sexy. Till I had a look at my hand one day and I thought, looks like I just had three fingers up my ass. <laughs> so I swapped hands. <laughs> but drugs are not good, are they? They're not. No, do you, you girls, do you do drugs? No, no way. No, not for the TV, do you? <laughs> no, what about you, mate? Your brother's a bloody diver. Do you ever watch him stoned? <laughs> do you ever, no, no, you wouldn't, because you're bloody, you know, you've got a good family, yeah. What about, yeah, have you ever been to Bali? <laughs> Fucking scared to go over there now. Just, I wouldn't even take Tic Tacs with me. <laughs> Poor old bloody, what about poor old Chappelle Corby and her boogie board? And there's bloody marijuana in there? She claimed that it was bloody, bloody planted? Maybe it was planted. So I know I used to live in a share house about 15 years ago. And the guy used to come around our house and fucking plant drugs on us. <laughs> Jeez, it made me angry. I actually had to eventually build an incinerator out of a Spring Valley juice container bottle in the garden hose. <laughs> Every night I'd wander out of my room and I'd say, is he been back again? Oh, give me that shit. I'll get rid of it. Oh, I'll even bloody hide the smoke inside my body. <laughs> but uh, what's going on, mate? You're texting, are you? Yeah? You're looking at your mobile? What's going on with your mobile? What are you? You're the single guy, yeah? Any opportunity to have a bloody... What's going on, mate? Turn the fucker off, darling. <laughs> She'll be, still be there. Play hard to get, that's your problem. <laughs> You're too needy. <laughs> Don't reply to her message this time. Her message might hit a bird on the way through. <laughs> are you on call? Are you a fucking doctor? What are you doing looking at your phone? <laughs> You're in the front row. You're fucking driving the bus, mate. Just concentrate on the fucking road, all right? These guys aren't on there. Good, you're a good front row. I have trouble with my front rows sometimes. I had a girl and a guy recently in the front row and they were young and they were both attractive and they were there together. I'm not saying to you guys that you're an item, yeah? And they go, no, we're not. I go, come on. I said to her, you're single? And she goes, yeah. And I said to him, are you single? He said, yeah. And I said, oh, oh, oh. it's a matter of time. Come on, guys. Let's go. Come on. You want it. Come on. I got the whole crowd to yell out, pash, pash, pash. And the guy said, we're brother and sister. <laughs> right. 
give me the information straight away, we'll move on with the show. <laughs> Who likes the party, yeah, yeah? You got mate, you a party animal, yeah? You on the party drugs, yeah? Yeah, yeah, party drugs, yeah, you're on them, aren't you? Yeah. You, you went out last night, you'll get home on Tuesday, yeah? <laughs> yeah, why well, sleep when you can sweat? <laughs> My mates love the party drugs. I'm not on them, I just have Tic Tacs and pretend. <laughs> they love them though, they bloody take them like smarties. And look, I, I, am, I don't do the drugs myself, but I don't mind seeing them on them because it fucking amuses me. <laughs> I actually encourage it. And I hang shit on them though, and they try to hide it from me. I had a guy come to me at a bloody nightclub, he said, what's going on, Husey? I said, mate, I know. Your face is having its own party? You look like a retarded lizard. And you're about to eat your own teeth. But I got him to have another, I said, have another one. That one's worked so well, imagine another one. I waited until the, till the nightclub was about to close and I said, come on, another one, we're partying all night. And he had another one and I said, all right, they're shutting up shop here, I'm going home. Good luck dancing to the overnight infomercials. A bit of a laugh, why not, you know? No, I mean, it's not good for him. I mean, I know the effects of drugs, I must say, because sometimes I have codrils myself. I soldier on with codril. I must admit, sometimes I take too many codrils. Fight battles that don't exist. <laughs> Guys, where are you going? You two. Show's only halfway. What's happening? See ya. What the fuck's going on there? We didn't like you anyway. I was waiting to do the funny shit after you left. What are they doing? Are they going to have some codrils? Maybe they're going to, I don't know what they're doing. <laughs> Why did they leave me? <laughs> I remember when there was only two of them in the audience. <laughs> it would have been fucking show over. <laughs> well, good luck to them, whatever. <laughs> Maybe they're going to the toilet together. I mean, I don't like going to the toilet with other people, I must admit, I like going on my own. I'm not a man who likes to wee next to another man. I like to wee in my own space. I can talk shit in front of people, but you get me to wee, I'm on my own way. I love using urinals though, with public toilets, when I'm the only one there, I feel like I'm king. I'm gonna use a urinal today, I'm on my own. But if I step up, and if I haven't started the flow and someone else walks in, I fucking panic. I go, oh, I need a poo. As much as I'd love to wee in front of you, <laughs> What about, do you ever have Sudafeds or Codrils, mate? Do you ever, yeah, they're tough to get now, though, aren't they? They're behind the counter at the chemist. They are in Victoria, behind the counter. You need a bloody, you've got a bloody, and they ask you questions. They're bloody tricky. The questions they ask you, they give you the bloody bit of an interrogation before you can get your Sudafeds or your Codrils. I went there recently doing, I wanted some Sudafeds. I said, can I have some Sudafeds? She said, oh yeah, maybe. What are your symptoms? I said, ah, I'm running a speed laboratory. Oh, fuck, sorry, no, 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 no. I've got sniffles. It makes me say wacky shit. But I think it's because we're being more regulated, and I think it's because John Howard just wants to control our lives, guys, you know? I mean, he really does. I mean, we keep voting for him, so we keep giving him the opportunity. I mean, I love the man, don't get me wrong. He really inspires me every time I see him power walking. Every time he gets those Aussie tracksuit on and power walks, I fucking get fired up. <laughs> I love it when he does it overseas. He goes overseas, he power walks, he'll power walk in India. Don't you worry about it, he fucking power walk. Didn't power walk in Baghdad. Fuck, maybe. <laughs> Would have had a spring in his step if he had done it over there, I reckon. <laughs> he was power walking in bloody England recently, he was watching the ashes, and I saw him power walking down the street in his Aussie tracksuit. I wonder what the locals think though who don't know him. They see this guy in the Aussie tracksuit power walking down the street with cameras following him. I reckon they probably think, shit, didn't know the Special Olympics were on. <laughs> Get on you, mate, go for it! <laughs> it's going well over in Baghdad though, isn't it? Gee, they're going, I mean, good time. Gee, it's pretty hard, isn't it? You've, you're back. 
And was that you who left with the other guy? It was. I'm oh, sorry. It was